What do you do when you've become so overwhelmed that you feel like throwing in the towel? Well, first of all, don't throw in the towel. Here are some simple ways to stay motivated and see it through, whether it's a job, a particular task, a role that you're playing, or a project you're working on, it, it works the same way. So here are those simple ways. First of all, keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the end goal and, and the benefits that you'll gain once you've gotten to that end goal, whether it's just a you know, simple feeling of accomplishment or there's actually something that you have produced or put together that you have to show others. But the end goal, don't ever lose sight of that end goal. What will that be? How will I feel when I finish this? Whatever it is, the end goal. The next thing is set short-term goals. So you know what your end goal is. You know what the big picture is. But break it down for yourself. Set monthly or weekly, maybe even daily goals for yourself to just get through it step by step. Because sometimes just looking at everything involved in a particular project, it that'll overwhelm you and, and make you want to throw in the towel. If you're looking at it all at once, just look at what do I need to accomplish today? Or what do I need to accomplish this week? If it's a job that you have that you know, you're really not happy there, but there's no alternative for you right now. Well, how about setting the goal of just making it through one day at a time? Sounds, sounds sad, but it's actually a very happy thing. One day at a time. I only need to make it through today. I only need to produce this much today. Whatever it is. Okay, so set short-term goals and then check them off. As you complete each one, it'll give you such a sense of accomplishment. And then it changed things up. So if you're really feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling a lack of motivation and you just want to walk away, well, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Change things up. So change the atmosphere where you're working. Change the music you listen to. Change what you do after work change the way you exercise, change the methods you're using to accomplish whatever it is to reach that end goal. Change things up. It'll do a world of good for you, I promise. And then finally, welcome setbacks. Welcome setbacks. Now, it sounds weird to welcome setbacks, but really that's the way we need to look at it because, because when we encounter a setback, it can really be a hassle. I know, I get it. I, I, I get setbacks all the time and it frustrates me. But I have to remember, this is what happens when, when we encounter a setback. It helps us to realize how important that end goal is for us. You see, if the setback didn't feel like a hassle, then that means the end goal isn't all that important. So this emphasizes the importance of the end goal and it also can be a source of motivation to not give up conquer this setback whatever it is and keep going on to the next step of whatever this project or task or position is that i need to work through welcome it know that they're going to happen setbacks are always going to happen they always do well welcome them when they come and see them as a mini challenge to really encourage you and help you to realize how important it is, what you're, whatever it is you're doing, how important it really is. And then of course, all of this, none of this can be done without prayer. Everything should start with prayer. Why? Because God governs all. It's a very simple answer, but it can be kind of complex if you don't really understand that, that God is Father, and he's father of all, and, and he runs the world, basically. So, so if you don't turn this over to him from the very beginning, then it's, it's kind of like trying to paddle a canoe with no paddle. You're just drifting. So you need God. You need our Lord. You need, you need his dear mother, Mary, to be there with you 
and guide you. You need God's grace to be able to accomplish whatever it is you've set out to do. I'm Marge Steinhake Fennell, and if you'd like to know more about me, book me for a speaking event, contact me about an online conference or workshop, look at my books, shop my bookstore, whatever it is, margefennelin.com. Please go to margefennelin.com, like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it so that others can learn how to stay motivated as well. God bless you.